talking about making readmes and making GIFs for your projects. So currently here we are on the repo that we created. It's called Ironman Races, but it could be any project repo. So here we do not have a readme. So first let's go create a readme. We'll click that green button here that says add a readme. Great. So here we have a basic readme. It has a title with one hashtag. We could preview what that readme looks like by clicking on that preview button right here. So currently we have a top heading that says Ironman Races. We could go edit, add in a second hashtag would make that heading smaller. So currently we'll keep it at one hashtag. A good readme should have a description of what the project is. Here I'll simply say Ironman Races app shows popular races around the world allows the user to favorite a race okay we could go back and preview what that looks like so here i have my title heading and i have a description of what the app does i could go on and say here we'll have some sort of screenshot of the app so to add a screenshot we'll start off with a exclamation mark followed by square bracket and a placeholder. For example, here I'll say home screen. And I will add an assets folder. In that assets folder, I will have a home screen image. So now let's preview what that looks like. So in the preview, it shows a placeholder name because currently there's no image. And next, we'll also add a GIF. The GIF takes the same format as an image. So here I'll say um, Iron Man Races App. And again, it will be in the Access folder and it will be called Iron Man Races app.gif preview what it looks like again we do not have a gif yet and we do not have a screenshot so we'll go ahead and we'll create those two so for now i will commit changes so added links to readme click commit great so next, we need to go ahead and create a screenshot and create a GIF. So we'll navigate over, we'll create a screenshot. So this is the app here. I'll go to the home page. I'll create a screenshot of the home page. To create a screenshot, I will select Shift Command 4. So Shift Command 4 all at the same time that's going to change my mouse clicker to this plus icon here i will hold down on my mouse i drag over select the portion of the device i want to make the screenshot of when i'm satisfied with the screenshot i will release at this point i've created a screenshot of the app i'll navigate over to where the screenshot was saved I have my screenshot here in recents. I will rename it to home screen. Great. Next, I need to download my repo. So I need to download my repo. I will download it over to the desktop. 
get clone. Go back to my project. Copy the URL. Paste it here. So I now have my project locally. I'll navigate over to Ironman races. So here currently I have only a readme, but in your project you would have more files. But currently here I only have a readme. So I need to go ahead and create an assets folder like we said earlier. So now I have an assets folder and I have my readme file. So navigate back to where I have my screenshot. My screenshot was saved. My screenshot was saved in documents folder. So I'll open up a next window here by command N to open a new window. I'll navigate over to my assets folder and I will copy the home screen, the home screen image that we took, the screenshot. I'll paste it over here in the assets folder. So currently I have my home screen. I have my home screen image. Great. Before we push, before we push this back to the repo, double click on the image. We might have to resize it. So again, double click on the home screen image. It will open up in preview, the preview application. Go to tools in preview. Go to adjust size. In adjust size, if you have inches as the default, change it to pixels. And for the width, we'll start, we'll change the width to 300. Changing the width to 300 will also change the height because it changes it, it scales it proportionally. So 300 is a good width size for the readme. So we'll go ahead and we'll click OK. Clicking OK will save it. At this point, I will quit preview. Great. I will navigate back to terminal and we'll do a get status here. So currently we have assets changing. I do not want to commit the DS store. So I will remove the DS store here. I'll do a get status again and we have our assets file. So we'll go ahead and we'll add everything. At this point, get status, and we have modified our assets folder. It's in the staging area. It's ready to be committed. So I'll write a commit message here. Added assets folder and screenshot. Great. And I'll get push. So now my changes are getting pushed to my remote repo. I navigate over to GitHub. And now we have an assets folder. In that assets folder, we have the home screen PNG file, right? Clicking on that home screen PNG file shows us our screenshot. So at this point, if we navigate back to Ironman races, our screenshot does work. Why it works? Because if we look at our raw Macdown again, if we look at the Macdown file again in the raw format, we do see home screen as the placeholder name and we have assets folder and we have the home screen.png file that we just pushed to GitHub. So now our readme is shaping up here. We have a description, we have a screenshot. Lastly, we need to create the GIF. So let's go again and create that GIF. Great. So to create a GIF, if you do not have Jiffy Capture here, if you do not have Jiffy Capture, you could simply go to the App Store. You could simply go to the Mac App Store and search for and search for Jiffy Capture, this particular application here. So if you do not have this application locally, 
go to your app store and download it it's called Jiffy capture okay but I have it installed already so I'll simply command again I'm command spacing to quickly navigate over to my applications I will search for Jiffy capture so Jiffy Capture allows you to make a GIF of your application or whatever it is that you want to make a GIF of. So here my Jiffy Capture um, executes and here I could change the size of the window. Down here it shows you the size of the actual window that will be captured. So again, we'll try to keep it at the 300 range here. So 300 by 682 is okay, um, something about there. Great. So now we need to get to our simulator. So here I have my simulator. I have my simulator. Let's go ahead and close some windows here. Okay, I'll make this fit the size of the simulator. It's about right. So at this point, we could start running the application while capturing what we actually show in. So there's a record button here. When I press, press on the record button, I will navigate the application. Whatever parts of the app I'm navigating will be captured with Jiffy Capture and the maximum amount of time is 30 seconds to create a GIF. So you could go anywhere from zero to 30 seconds. And once you capture that, then you could save it. So let's go ahead and capture some of the application. So I'll click on the record button. I navigate through the application here, right? So here we have Ironman races. I could click on a race and see the description of the race. I could favorite a race and it goes to my bucket list of races here, right? I could also see the bucket list of races. I could remove it from the bucket list. If I go back, there's nothing in the bucket list. And I could go through all the races, like this Ironman Keynes here. I got Ironman Montreal Blanc, right? So at this point, Capture Jiffy has done 30 seconds of recording. And if we click on the recording, here we have the GIF being played. Um, that we just captured. So next point here we want to do is we want to save it. So on that save as button, I'll click on the save as button. I'll change this to Iron Man Races app. Um, I'll save it on the desktop. I'll click on save. Save as GIF is fine here. This is what we want. We want the GIF. So I'll click on Save as GIF and save it. Great. So it's saved. I'll go ahead. I will exit out of Jiffy Cap. I'll bring up my Finder. We save to the desktop, it's called Ironman Races. I will simply copy, copy this GIF, go back to my Ironman Races assets folder, paste it in here. So at this point we have Ironman Races app. So let's go commit those changes. I'm back in terminal. If I do LS, if I go into my assets folder, I have my Ironman Races app GIF. Navigate back up here. We do get status again. We do not have a get ignore yet, so we still have this DS store. But ideally, you would have your DS store in your get ignore file so it does not push to GitHub. So now we'll just manually remove it. Do get status again. We have only our assets folder, this is what we're interested in, and we have our Ironman races, which I look it looks like we spelt it incorrectly here, so let's fix that. Iron Man races. Great. 
Okay, perfect. So I was spelling this back correct. I will do get add everything. I do get commit. And the commit is added diff get status here. Nothing to commit. We'll do get push. Pushing our changes. It's a slightly bigger file, so it will take slightly longer depending on your network. Great, so at this point we have pushed our GIF to our remote branch, our remote repo. I'll navigate back to my repo here on GitHub, go to the top level, and we have our GIF. There's our GIF being played, and everything is great, right? So this is what we did today. We created a simple readme file. Again, at bare minimum, you should have a readme talking about what your app is, the app description, a screenshot, a GIF. You could just have a GIF here, or again, at minimum, at least have a screenshot. If not, have a GIF. Um, and talk about the description of your application, what it's about. And also, you could also include a code snippet of what your application, of a part of your application here. All right? So a code snippet of a challenging part of your app, right? So a code snippet of a challenging part of your app. And here, <clears throat> to create a code snippet in Swift, you start off with three backticks, three backticks. And again, the backtick is located right below your escape button or the top left button on your keyboard will have the backticks there. So you start off with having three backticks and the language that you write in so that GitHub does proper syntax highlighting. So here we have Swift and you could put in some function here you would probably copy the function from Xcode or whatever that you have. Um, so here we just have some um, challenging function. And your function would have code in there, code here. Um, okay. And what does that look like? You have to close. So you open up your code snippet with three backticks and the language. You close your code snippet with three backticks. At this point, if you go to preview changes, you will see your function. So really try to put like a function that you're proud of um, on your readme so that when employers or anybody interested in your code could jump in and see like some cool function that you wrote and explain what the function does. Okay, so again, let's go ahead and commit our changes here. So added code snippet. So now we have a description, the title of our project, a screenshot. We have a GIF showing the parts of the application that we want to show. We have a code snippet of what the app does, or a code snippet of a challenging part of our application. Again, at minimum, this is what you want on your readme. Yes, you could go and add more um, parts, more descriptions, more um, maybe even steps of a way the person could go ahead and use the application. Uh, okay, so again, at minimum, please have a readme on your project. Thank you.